It's uh, still pretty hot, and uh, with me, I'm very pleased to say, international referee and international coach, Mike McKenzie. Welcome, Mike. Hey, Adrian, how are you doing? Yes, very good, thank you. Uh, looking at that field, it's looking very good here. In fact, they've already come out. We'll have a little chat in a second. Croatia, the WTF Olympic ranking number two. Well, the, athlete, the athletes are already coming out on stage. Chinese Taipei, WTF Olympic ranking number 35. Well, here's Wang Tinglin. Those are her. Uh, she's been very comfortable. Three very comfortable earlier rounds so far. Uh, that was quite a rushed uh, entrance here. And uh, Lucia Zadinovic. She's only had two competitions. She had a buy in the first round. But uh, she is the form athlete here. Uh, Mike, uh, looking at this draw, she's the one that uh, really I think the other semi finalists are going to be really looking at. Definitely, yeah. Zadinovic is. Um Croatian athlete, she's three times European champion. Um, comfortable performances today. Um, slight concern with the nosebleed earlier on, which wasn't actually match related, it was pre match. Um, but other than that, she's the athlete on form today. Absolutely. Well, here we go. Lucia Zeninovic in blue from Croatia and Wang Tin Lin. The first round to begin. And off they go. Mike, uh, it's been uh, an interesting competition so far. We've been watching quite a lot of uh, matches. Um, what's been your feeling so far about the uh, competition? Well, this category, the minus 49, has provided a little bit of uh, surprises for us with the, um, a lot of the top seeds coming out quite early on. So actually, three of the athletes are outside of the top 20, top 25, in fact, yeah. um, of the world rankings. Well, Zaninovic already gets a quick early point there. She's uh, She's a pretty sharp cookie, this girl, and the world number two. The other rankings are a little bit further down there, so there's a. She's. It's probably the dream semi final draw. If you're world number two and the next highest ranking is world number 25 in the semis, you're going to be feeling quite happy about matters going out there, aren't you? I think so, but don't be um, placing too much um, stock on the ranking systems. It is still early days, you know, and. Um, you know, we're, we've seen surprises all the way through today, so it could happen any, in this match as like it could any other. Yep. As you saw on the uh, previous results, um, Zdeninovic actually beat Yvette Gonda of Hungary. Gonda was a semi-finalist in the Grand Prix number one in Suzu, China. And uh, that's certainly her toughest match so far getting through to this semi-final. So, uh, sorry, go ahead. I'm just going to say, with uh, Chinese Wu Jin Yu not being here, the two times Olympic champion and you know the Grand Prix champion beforehand, then Zelanovic is really going to be in you know in the comfort yeah. zone, as it were. She's definitely the hot favourite. I'll say about how hot it was outside. She's the hot favourite here today. She's uh, three times European champion, three times in a row, and that's no mean feat in Taekwondo, where not always the best fighter will, will win every bout, isn't it? There is a little bit of randomness about the sport sometimes. Well, there is indeed, but actually her identical twin sister has almost um, achieved exactly the same in the next category, and we'll see her later <laughs> this weekend. Yes, we've seen the Zaninovic sisters uh, going around the world, picking title after title. First period's over, and Zaninovic with that early kick to the body. She, uh, she leads 1-0. Yeah, she'll be happy with that result, but it doesn't um, add up to that much at this stage. Well, our coach is uh, just uh, having a little chit-chat to him. He look, he's looking quite cool. He's even got to kept his jacket on. Well, the, uh, the new rules that we have with our new coaches are going to be wearing their um, suits, looking very smart as opposed to the tracksuits which we've uh, traditionally worn. Well, a few little highlight there from, uh, from the first round. The, uh, we've had uh, Kazakhstan entries uh, at every category here, of course. Uh, the local organisers are allowed to enter their athletes 
into the competition. And uh, Dave Zaninovic actually uh, had quite a tight uh, match as a, uh, in an earlier round against uh, one of the Kazakhs. So they've held up, held up pretty well. Yeah, despite being host nations getting automatic points, they have all equipped themselves really well. Yeah. Zaninovic trying to get the point for the punch there. Of course, one point for a punch, one point for a simple kick to the body, and then it starts accumulating. If you can add a spin, you get two points. Kick to the head is three points, and a spinning kick to the head is four points. A, uh, there's quite a, quite a lot of points can be scored, and of course it is possible to score six points if you actually kick the head twice. Absolutely, yeah, and that's why a lead of 1-0 like Zanonovic has got right now, he doesn't give any sort of security, as it were. Yeah. You know, one kick to the head, bang, and she'll be two points behind. Yeah, absolutely. Points can be scored amazingly quickly, and usually early rounds of bouts are, are quite tactical affairs. You can see these two just sizing each other up, aren't they? And you know, they don't want to sort of commit early. They know their opponent's a top player, so, you know, they're, they're, their opponent's a really good fighter. It's, you don't want to be committing too early, do you? No, you, you're waiting your opponent to be taking small steps, trying to entice them to come up with a counter kick like in that situation, and then you'll counter their counter. So you're actually thinking very tactically, trying to think two or three moves ahead, not just yours, but your opponent's as well. Yeah. And so far, still that early kick from Zaninovic. Certainly, uh, athletes were very eager to get out here earlier on. They, uh, they, they raced out. That's the second point there. Yeah. And I could hear that kick from over here. That was definitely a scoring kick. Absolutely. No doubt. No doubt whatsoever. <laughs> Sometimes you see kicks that uh, you think should score, but there actually wasn't enough weight behind it, but there was no doubt about the weight on that one. No, the, the techniques are scored by proximity and power, so the actual foot shape has to be correct. This is a slightly different scoring system today. We're seeing the uh, KPMP um, scoring system, which is a personal scoring system to the body. Yeah. And, um, the foot senses are a little bit different on this one. So period two goes the same way as period one. Another point towards Zaninovic. Yeah, she should, be, should be happy with that, should be happy with that. It's, um, it's not secure at all, but she's looking very comfortable. I think she'll be saved a little bit for the final, to be honest. Yeah. And um, you see uh, the coach there just talking to uh, Wang Ting Lin there. I mean, if, you were, if you were the coach in red corner, what would you be saying right now? I'd, I'd just be saying what we've just really said, that one kick can make all the difference and that, you know, a two-point two, two point lead isn't that strong. Uh, the Chinese coach is one of the most experienced coaches in the world, so I'm sure that he'll um, have some good advice for her there. Yep, he's certainly um, having a good chat with her there and making eye contact. He's really saying, this is your moment. Uh, Wang Tinglin, number 35 in the world on the rankings. Good crowd here as well. They're filling up nicely. And here we go, third period, three periods of two minutes each. This is the moment. And off they go. Zelinovic so uh, having a high lead there, which of course is also a de defensive move as well, isn't it? It's blocking your opponent from attacking you. It's measuring in, yeah. It's um, frowned upon a little bit now, so she might get penalised if she does it too much, but it's a way of getting into the range and then try to score out to the body by hitting yep. the body shot off the front leg. Oh, that was Zaninovic's coach just there, who uh, seems to be getting a little bit more anim animated. I just wonder if he's a bit concerned. You know, there's only one score away for Wang Ting to take the gold here. If she gets a headshot... I think, he, you know, he's a Croatian coach. Again, he's a very experienced coach. He knows what he's doing. He's worked with both his sisters for quite a few years now, since they were juniors. Yeah. Um, he is shouting instructions. It's limited, you know, it's interesting how much the actual athletes hear while the match is going on. Yeah. Well, there's a Kyung Go there. We can't see it on camera, but uh, the uh, official, official just giving a Kyung Go towards Zaninovic for forcing the opponent out. No, no, I think it's for a low section uh, kick, I believe. Cool. Kyung Go's are given. Um, if you watch Taekwondo in the past, they, uh, they're given a little bit more readily this year. If you go down, if you fall on the floor, that's considered an automatic Kyungo now. If you go out of the court, that is also one. And uh, two Kyungos, which are these little yellow cards you see on the screen, two of those, and you actually get a red card, and that means a point to your opponent. So Again, Taipei there tried to score with a punch. It's not the judge is not scoring that too much today. Yeah. Last 30 seconds now. 
Absolutely. Wang Tinglin has got yeah. it all to do. She's got to put the pressure on now. Here comes the move. You can just see that the, the energy is starting to, to just pile in there now. And she's coming in on Zaninovich. Oh, she got a head she's kick. Got she just That's got it. a head kick. Unbelievable. That's incredible. And the, the card's out already. Yeah. Mike. Tell us, that's an incredible move. Yeah. That's exactly as we called it. Right, the creation coach is now playing um, his uh, appeal, video replay appeal, and he's disputing the validity of the point, the headshot. Yeah. So the type A player's gone for the headshot, like we said. It's actually reverse headshot, so if she gets it, um, I believe it was reverse. We scored three points. But even so, it gives her the lead with 12 seconds left. That's absolutely amazing, kid. We're just waiting for the the replay here now the coach may well like to be honest i don't think he got a good view about head kick at all and i've got a feeling that he actually just put in for the video review on the basis of he, he wanted to give her a rest there's only 12 seconds to go so there's hardly going to be an opportunity there just looking at replays here and oh that was close it, if you're the coach you'd have played the video i definitely would have played it that. yeah, yeah. Really that whatsoever. we're just looking at all oh i'm not sure she got it i don't think are they looking again let's have a look from the other angle Oh, yeah, uh, I, uh, I think it's a good call. Now, the officials are... Lo I'm just looking over at the official screens, which we're not seeing here, but there is an angle which looks as if there is contact between the foot and the head. I've just seen an angle on the screens that are around the edge of the court, which isn't one of the TV screens. They're actually now looking at the TV uh, replays. It, these replays are supposed to take a minute, but they invariably don't. Um, because there are so many different angles for them to look at. There are four cameras around the court here, plus the TV. Well, that's right, yes. We've got um, very experienced judges who are working on the video re replay. Um, Tom Stammer from Great Britain and Lee J. Bomb from Korea. They're reviewing it, they're keeping it going, they're having a look at the score and, and the slow motion. It's rejected, the points stand. Points, it's rejected. So... Rejected. Ten so seconds. Now... Dinovich equalises. Oh, it's 3 all. Body shot. Four seconds to go. Looks like it's 3 all, and the time has run out. OK, now we play golden point. The athletes will play golden no, point, so golden we'll have one more scored. round, and the uh, first one to score wins, basically. Yeah, absolutely. It's an uh, incredible, incredible bit of action there. And... Well, we're going to get a video review card here from Red. He's uh, he's throwing his hat in here. I wonder what this is about. With, so this this is not over yet. We're going to have another delay, and the officials are going to look at a little bit more action there. Again, it's worth a chance to try and play that. I think it's a bit of a wild. Yeah, chance to be truthful, but he's uh, the, the, the referee is explaining what the coach have said to him to the video replay judge. Well, here we go. Kick there, kick there. Oh, oh, it's quite valid there. Not seeing anything there? Oh. Maybe they're holding the leg. He might be trying to say that Zanovich held the leg slightly, but I think that's a little bit wild. Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a puzzler now. We are getting into, you know, it's the wild zone of the match, really. And I'm just wondering if the coach has thrown away that card, taken a gamble. I can see why the first card came out. There was definitely no, I'm just looking at the replay screens here, and I can't really. Yeah, there's a question. I think it's about holding the leg. You're right. There's, Wang Ting Lin holds the leg out. Um, I'm looking at a screen, which is what the officials are looking at. And um, Zaninovich looks as if she just put her hand on it. And did she hold it? That's the question. Of course, that's not allowed, really. You're setting your opponent up for a kick. No, holding is a foul, but I think that would be rejected, to be truthful. I don't think it was, uh, you know, a, a grabbing hold as such. It might have yeah. just been a sweeping block, as it were. I don't know if our director's going to give us a, uh, another replay of that, of that particular hold. That'd be... Uh, but I think we just saw the replay earlier on, and we think it's going to be rejected, and we are going to go into sudden death. Video review. So it's rejected. Right, so both of them have used their video review card, so both have gone. Now they can go and have a break, because now it officially is the end of the third period. And we are in to sudden death. Well, Mike, that suddenly took off. How do, you know, this is typical Taekwondo. You get two periods where they uh, dance around each other and poke the odd leg out, and some of each other up and down. And in the third period, you see the real action. 
I, th I think it's, you know, a two-point lead at that stage, the latter half of the third round, is not enough to secure the win. Yeah. And the uh, Thai play, player played a good kick to the head, gets the lead. Zanonovic, very calm, takes a point back, and yeah. uh, we're going to into golden point, or sort of death. Golden point, just to explain, first person to score wins. Simple as that. One point, punch, kick, whatever way. Or if you're unlucky, two can goes against you. That's right, yeah. Which uh, can way. also, you, 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 get, you get one chance, you get one yellow card, but if it turns into a red, that's a point to your opponent. Here we go. Sudden death. Two minutes. And off they go. Zaninovic led 2-0 going into that third period, but a head kick from Wang Tin. Chinese Taipei. This is in the balance. What way do you think, Mike? What, what are you looking at here? I think Zanovic will try and come off the back leg. Lead off the front leg. There you go. Off the back leg. She's going to cut to yeah. the body. She scored three points that way so far, hasn't yep. she? Three yep. standard leg kicks. Three good points. I think she's got a better defence. So I think that she's uh, she'll probably play that each time. Maybe sometimes she'll jab that left leg out to try and score straight away. I thought she was going to do it for a Zen as well. <laughs> covered the body, covered the body, well covered. No risk at all. There was a chance there, wasn't there? And Zinovic just she's got an arms well. in the she, way. Well, she covered well. It was, it was really... Um, she could see that one coming in. She, she's definitely going for that that strategy of coming yeah. off the back leg. 1-12 to go. We're halfway through. No one scores. We're going to have the referee's decision for superiority. This is like uh, the referee's decision in boxing, really. He's... Uh, all the officials will come together and decide between them. Less than a minute to go now. I think we'll get the point. I think we will. Zanovic right. is trying to push it to the end of the court now, trying to drug out a Kyongo. Yep. A warning, if she goes off the blue area in the mats, then she'll get a warning. But she's coming back, fighting back into the centre now. Yep, 30 seconds to go. Well, we saw it earlier with Wang Ting Lin. She put all her energy into that final period. She got a three-pointer. Less than 30 seconds left. <laughs> We're really getting into the business end now. 30 seconds, who's going to make the move? Pressure, like pressure. Headshot. A headshot's given. It was quite low, actually. The Taipei player was quite low down. She went for the body take, went to high, scored the headshot. Three points. Yeah, three points. It will go down as 4-3 in the title in the record books. But it's 6-3, as far as we're concerned. What a victory for Zaninovic. And a headshot in the end. And Wang Tin Lin, actually, she dropped her head down, didn't she? She almost went down into the foot. It was quite strange. It was really, because I would say, you know, I, I thought she was going to come off the bat leg. The Croatian was going to come off the bat leg and score to the body. As it was, the Taipei player, the head was so low that he actually scored the headshot. Yeah. Well, that was, an, that was a really entertaining first bout. I just hope the rest are as good as them. The uh, officials are going to swap over. We have 50 countries here. It just shows how worldwide Taekwondo is, isn't it, Mike? Well, yeah, it's one of... Now we're going to be